Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our next part of Mad Red Dead. In this part, Rat God has the hiccups. I'm sorry, George. <laughs> I went over it! Okay, okay. There she is. Hey, little rats. Goodness! Oh, excuse me, I have the hiccups today. I let you relive your final day, but... Your time is up. Oh, crap. Be prepared to be eaten by that cat. Uh, no but thanks. no, we got a plan. That's right. Your wish doesn't matter anymore. Let it go. Can't hold it back There's anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're still going to resist? Even with my, <laughs> me and my hiccups? I'll show you that a little rat has no chance against me. Your end is now. Accept your death. Well, it's not like she's giving us any options here. Yeah, yes or yes. Oh crap, it is uh, yes or cool yes. Voices. Do we have to press the middle trigger? Oh, I'm glad you understand. Your precious little friend isn't here. Ah. Wander around in this hallucination while you dream of the end. <laughs> Even she doesn't know what it means. <laughs> but seriously. I don't care, it's a running gag. No. It was supposed don't. to be a running gag for me, devil damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh boy. Uh-oh. Damn it. I didn't like my owner. I forgot I can't move when she shows up. No way I'm gonna sit here and get eaten. You don't have the heart power. Hey, heart. Can you hear me? Crap. Heart! Where are you? Wake me up! Wake me up inside! I was waiting Shh. for it. There you go. Heart! Save me! Oh, he can move. Oh, he can Yeah. Oh. By the way, this is something I should have mentioned as early as when we were actually fighting Heart earlier. Notice notice, um, Mad Rat's cavities. Yeah, it's completely empty in his sprite now. Yeah. Sweet. And so weird. Yeah, so yeah, for those wondering why Jordy suddenly had a case of the hiccups, blame Logan for being an idiot. Well, hi, hey, I hope to. I started it. No, I hey. started it. Guys, listen, it's fine. I forgive you. I just laughed a little too hard. That's all. Okay. All right. Christ, look at all those. If I if I hold my breath while I'm not able to talk, then I think I'll be okay. I mean, I can tell you Are my you sure? I can tell you my trick for getting rid of hiccups that has worked literally 90 percent of the time for me. What is what it? What about the other 10 percent? So the way it works is. And again, I mean, I learned this from a Google hack or a whatever, a life hack or whatever, and anybody who's never heard it before, I can tell them is, uh -oh. what you do is you, um, you, you hold your breath, but you need to make sure you've salivated enough, because the idea is that you hold your breath and then you drink your own saliva, not once, but two times while your breath is held, so you kind of have to, you know, you kind of have to salivate a bit after the second one, and then after you swallow your own saliva for the second time, Exhale slowly out your nose. Mm -hmm. uh, it's worked for me 90% of the time. I mean, it sounds. Uh, it doesn't sound appealing, Nikki, but it's worked. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying, but I also have a sensitive gag reflex. Sorry. Oh, you're you're oh, fine, man. you're fine. You you take your time with it. She so, got a sensitive gag gonna... reflex and a sensitive funny bone. So are we just going to ignore the fact that this is probably the most rancid interpretation of cheese in the game thus far? Oh yeah, it's uh, all like slimy. I mean, we're literally out in the city, and it's yeah. like... It's honestly, this, this, this looks less like cheese and more like the fungus shit from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Ugh. Kind of, yeah, actually. If we encounter the king of that thing, I'm going to <laughs> Heart, do I gotta trust the fungus? Okay, oh. guys, I think they're gone now. Okay. Let's not yeah, it. Okay. Well, I mean, you're the one who started it, so I mean, I mean the jinx would be on you if you did. Okay, okay, we're, we're fine, we're fine, I think we're fine now. Okay. We'll just be okay. careful next time. Like it you, just, you just gotta trust the fungus. Okay, this bee is actually pretty good now. I thought it was all menacing at first, but this is pretty nice now. I mean, I, mean, I, think, it's I think it's just supposed to, uh, it's supposed to symbolize that, you know, Mad Red is still fighting through this nightmare. Yeah. Right. So... In fact, he's fighting oh. through a lot of Whoa. nightmares right now. Definitely. So now I'm curious what's going to happen, because, like, clearly we're at a point where now our time is technically up. We're on borrowed time as it is. Are we, though? And I, I don't know, unless that rat guy was lying about how long our time limit actually was. 
Uh, it'll all start to make more sense the further along we get into the game, trust me. Like, the big, like, mind-blown moment isn't going to be for a little while. Okay. By the way, keep an eye out on the background. With the cheese everywhere, kind of or...? Yeah, it's just kind of cluttered. Not just, the, not just the cheese. Okay, I'll keep an eye on it. I'm talking about the city in the background. Oh, nice. nice. Alright, we'll keep an eye on the city once we get to a clearer view of it. Yeah. I don't think even Mon I don't think even Monterey Jack wants anything to do with this nightmare. What the oh, what shoot? The hell? I just saw it. The cheese. Were those yeah. a bunch of were those a bunch of like dollar bill pyramids? Yeah. No, yes. it's like you know what that reminds me? It reminds me of freaking anyone here seen that old, 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 old horror game that like PewDiePie and Markiplier played called Ao Oni. Oh no! It reminds me of Ao Oni, doesn't it, Yuki? I mean, the only thing I know about Ao Oni is the Ao Oni itself. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, but the yeah the the yeah the warped blue demon face that kind of looks like the developer of uh, freaking um, Yandere Sim. Is that what? It, it it isn't but it isn't but it isn't but somebody like it it, it actually isn't but somebody did a morph of the yandere still because there's this photo of yandere dev that if you morph it right it absolutely looks like al oni i'll take your word on that i'll find it for you if you hang on i guess i should have also said this much earlier ladies and gentlemen but um i do apologize for some of the uh, stutter you see in the video it's not so much from elgato it's just that you know I mean the switch version the switch version of mad red dead does still run more or less fine but it hasn't it isn't the best option jesus yeah, no, that's okay is... though. Yeah, we're losing it. The cheesy pyramids. Yes, we did it. Hey, Shoot! Did oh, it. and no misses. Nice. Not quite, because there's still those those ugly looking pyramids out there in the distance. Ugh. God, God, no, you don't. Heart, can you hear me? Where are you? Help me! Oh, oh. 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 time's up. <laughs> This is it. Damn like, it's it. not the fact that their eyes, it's that they're hyper realistic eyes. No way I'm gonna die like this! In all this cartooniness, I agree. Heart! Help me! I need you. Oh. <gasps> I was actually gonna say before that all happens that looking at those pyramid eyes suddenly makes me think back to when we were talking about Angela and Aconda. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Wait, I've had. Can you hear me? I'm your heart. How can I go away? Put your paws in your chest when it's scary. Do you feel the beat? Cause every little thing. That's where I'll be. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> Do you feel it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> I feel the warp spot. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, they expect you to do the same thing as before, and you actually do need to hit it this time. There's the music. How could you have heard the music to beat it to hit it on time? Oh no no, this is this is a case this is a case where the HD rumble will come into play. Oh, okay, it's HD rumble. Hey Mad Rat! You managed to call me. Hello. <gasps> <gasps> what the hell are you doing oh. here? Interlopers. Yeah. We won't let this thing control you! I won't let you get in my way of my wish! What? I'll trap you along with this pathetic rat in this world! Mad Rat isn't brainwashed anymore. You won't get your way. <laughs> Too late. Your fate has already been sealed. Get eaten by a cat and die. Easy, no? Don't tell me what to do, you false god. <gasps> I'm gonna decide how I die, not you. You are both foolish. And I'll show you why. Oh, hello. Whoa! Ooh, We're all Jesus in cheese Christ, land. Everywhere. Oh! And. What? A mega nightmare. The nightmare moon. Bring it on! I'll make you regret looking down on me. So yeah, here's our next boss, and uh, yeah, it looks even more dangerously cheesy than the last. It's the Nightmare Moon, after all. Oh, that is what it's called? Yep. Okay. Oh, I mean, it kind of looks like a moon. It kind of does. 
like you see the rocks inside in the craters. Yeah. Plus, it's literally so. it's literally trapping the moon in all its cheeses. So, oh jeez, and he can summon uh, explosions out mm. on us. Yep, right on your oh, exact boy. position. So that's when you that's why you got to keep on the move. I, honestly, now that I'm seeing this, it almost reminds me a little bit of uh, Umu from uh, Hollow Knight, the uh, the jellyfish boss. Uh, I don't know about that boss. But that's not all it can do. It can also <gasps> spawn mini oh. cheese demons. Oh, oh boy. Gross. That totally it's don't look like something straight out of the Studio Trigger anime. Oh, it kind of looks uh, like Picasso. And I'm assuming we I can't kill it. those things. Keep honestly, with honestly when with the weird cultured swine. Honestly, with the weird tongue sticking out, it almost reminds me of what the demons in Panty and Stocking look like. Yeah, kind of. I know. I can see it. Which I forgot what studio was Panty and Stocking. Uh, that was Trigger, wasn't it? Gynax. Or, Gynax, yeah, no, Gynax, yeah, yeah. before, you know, before, you know, all the good people uh, left and made Studio Trigger. Yeah, that is true. Oh, so, so how do we defeat uh, this thing, anyways? Yeah. So, what you're, so for right now, you can't really do any harm to it. It's look, it's gonna, you know, spam attacks against you until a certain point where it le launches its quote unquote ultimate attack, where it breaks into a, it breaks into several pieces and you know exposes its core. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, oh no. shit! Now it's combining both the moops and the meteors for black right. holes. So uh, while we're doing this, nice. Uh, Jordy, how do you th what do you think about now having voiced the twist villain that Hype and I probably kind of called? <laughs> I mean, I'll be, I'm gonna be frank, I kind of, I kind of got spoiled that she was a twist villain, but it's oh. okay. But, uh -huh. it, in any case, it was fun. Although, Ooh. I apologize, I kind of had to hold myself back because my niece is going <laughs> to bed. No worries. There's its, there's its core. It's zero. Actually, if I could, if I can ask real quick, Jordan, like, uh, how are you spoiled about her being a villain? What did you just say? I'm so sorry, I missed your question. How how did you get spoiled about her being a villain? The wiki. But I didn't like uh, read fully through it. I just saw that she was a boss and I was like, yeah, if she's a twist villain, isn't she? Oh. And well, now you know she is. For some reason, I was half expecting it to be like one of your friends in your other server spoiling it. No, 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 it wasn't anything like that. I kind of found out from, I kind of spoiled myself. I was but, say, now I the think... question, but now the question remains that she's not a real god. What exactly is she? I know, we gotta figure that out. Also, yeah, I, mean, I was she's saying... she's clearly more than just a hallucination if other rats can see her. Right, and she did bring us back from the dead, technically. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, oh, jeez. And, uh... As, as far as she said. And I was gonna, and I was saying, and I was gonna say to hype, like as far as with Jordy and this, I was like, I was like, this game, this game is cool, but it's, I was gonna argue, hype, I think this game is even too niche for the servers that Jordy is on for them to all know about this game, You'd be like surprised. Hollow Knight and NSR. Well, not really. I mean, uh, I have a few friends who are big fans of NSR, hmm. and I have one friend especially that's a fan of Balan Underworld. Balan Wonderworld. You mean? He said Isn't that, that what she said? She said. She, she said she, Underworld. She say, <laughs> I meant, I I meant Wonderworld. Mystery. I'm sorry. No worries. no worries. I can't wait for I, that game, by the way. And then, I, and, then I, and then I forget, are you and Pi still into Hollow Knight stuff? I mean, we haven't really uh, done a lot of Hollow Knight stuff in a while. Like, at the moment, she's into Transformers, and I'm just doing my own thing. Okay, because I still know Silk Song... being into Among Us. Because I know Silk Song's still going to come out one year. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely look forward to that. It's just at the moment we're taking a break for other interests. Yeah, right, no I mean, that, that, that's that's the whole point of the phase. It only lasts for so long before you move on to the next big thing. I mean, I'll at least give you cred, Jordan, in that like, you're at least like keeping like diverse with your interests, as opposed to, like, I, I know we give her flack about it, but it is kind of true. It's like, at least you're being diverse with your interests, as opposed to like someone in our group that's like laser-focused on one and nothing else. Like, I mean, that's just... I, no, I, no, again, not I you. We're not talking just... about you in this case, Eki. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Again, I'd argue like that's just like... That's just a thing, is that like sometimes you have one big thing. Like, yes, admittedly, I'm really into Splatoon stuff and hope that we get a third oh. game eventually. And I still have a... I still like Bendy, and I'm looking forward to Dark Revival once it comes out. They're hoping to get it out by next year, but, you know, I won't stress over it if they don't get it by then. I, I don't mind waiting a couple more years, honestly. And I guess if we could be truthful, I am still on kind of my Crash Bandicoot high, even though I haven't played four yet. So I actually have a bit of an observation to make. What's up? Um, remember when in the earlier cutscene they, well, Navrat saw what appeared to be the moon outside the window? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do you think this was that moon? Hey, Likely. Maybe. Maybe, because I know the moon he saw was like all cheesy and stuff. 
Yeah, and this thing is pretty melty like cheese. Or at least Everyone it's says the room's made of cheese, Chronic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ow. Yeah, if I, if I did get hit there, I would have just gone along with the idea, you know, the fact that, you know, again, hard is down to the bottom left corner of the screen and just doing all sorts of things the better you do in your combo game, and he's just waving them glow sticks. You're yeah. distracting me, heart. Well, the bosses, well, I'm not going to blame you for missing, because, like, these bosses are kind of, like, honestly, I feel like, I know you brought it up before, but I think I kind of have to agree with you. I feel like the bosses are, like, the real weak point of this game, because they feel like they, the difficulty, like, like the learning curve and difficulty spikes seem a little bit too much compared to, like, the rest of the levels in the game. I feel like half I, the the biggest thing about them is that they primar is that you're primarily fighting them in cl in close spaces. That too, right? Like that's kind of why I like the that's kind of why I prefer the cat boss fight so much, just because for the majority of it you are still on the move. Like it's, it treats itself as its own level, whereas the cat is mostly just an obstacle than anything. Right, because like what you're having to do now, like this is a lot of like quick movements you have to make with not so not so you know abundant space to make the moves in. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, in between the little cheese demons here and these black holes that are forming in your place, yeah, you gotta keep moving. Yeah, you mm -hmm. literally have no, next to no wiggle rooms, and, or, or, you know, room for error in general. Oh, Finally, comes. okay. This should hopefully be the last hit. I believe you need. Wait! Yes! The worst boss in the game is yet to come. Oh, really? And oh, babe, would it be fun. Alright. <clears throat> but with that said, we've taken out the cheese moon, and, well, I mean, what else can you really say after that? We got an S plus. We need to figure out what the heck's going on from that god. How's that? We won. It's your turn now. <sighs> no, you're wrong. You were only playing around in your silly hallucination, and I don't care if I'm you stealing your word. Oh, no. oh shit! <gasps> Look, and there's the cheese. <laughs> It'll lead you to your happy ending! It's just floating there, menacing. Rat, is there a cat nearby? Is there a cat nearby? <laughs> Ow. Yes, there was. Oh, oh but it oh, was but the, the nice one. Cat. It's the uh. rat cat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Get away! Hamana, 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 hamana. Hold on, bad rat! Hello, kitty. Nice to see you again. I come bearing ties of war. <laughs> huh? I love that freaking unicorn thing. It, oh. This is the same cat from earlier. Don't you recognize it? He was following us. <laughs> hey, fake rat god! Can you hear me? Don't be alarmed. He's fighting a battle. It's okay, cat. He's kind of a, you know, it's a kind of a thing. I overcame the cat! Well? I won't let you get your way! It's so nice just getting along. <laughs> I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm suddenly reminded of, I um, told you not to get too close! I'm suddenly reminded of, um, the episode of, uh, The Simpsons where, uh, Homer eats the insanity peppers. Oh, yeah. And, like, the very, ep uh, the very end of the episode, he's like, Take that, space tech! In your face, Space Coyote! And we're just like, Space Coyote. <laughs> but oh, yeah. Right. We need to figure that- Oh yeah, the cheese. Here, take this. Aww. I already took a bite. I'm surprised he actually saved some. Yeah. I, mean, those really I still can't stuff. say that I like cats, but... I'm glad you were the cat that came. Aww. And I'm yeah, glad that I'm uh, the cat that dragged you. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have much time. Bye, cat. Thanks. Bye, bye, kitty. <laughs> From what I thought, he was gonna thing. run right into the kitty. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We only have one chapter left to go, and it's gonna be a doozy considering what all we've seen so far. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for the next part. Alrighty. It's gonna be a big one.